Hi. What comes into your mind when you hear something like artificial intelligence, real-time object detection and neural networks? For me it associates with something flipping complicated that involves large companies and billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars. I was pleasantly surprised when few months ago I found out that basically anyone with the help of few tutorials can do object detection on videos, images, live video streams, and if they have some knowledge in programming, even implement the video detection in their own applications. And best of all, it's completely free. Today I want to introduce to you something called Darknet and YOLO. If you are interested in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and object detection, this is definitely something worth checking out. So what is Darknet? Darknet is, quote, Neural Network Framework for Training and Testing Computer Vision Models. This Neural Network Framework is very powerful. To teach a new object you have to take images of this object, point its location in each of the images, and then feed those images to the neural network. Darknet is open source, so it is free for everyone to use. Darknet on its own would be quite slow, so we have to use something called YOLO. You only look once. YOLO is an object detection method that allows to greatly increase the speed at which the objects are detected in the image. The files and information on how to install Darknet and YOLO you can find in GitHub in Alexei B's repository. You will find also other interesting information here, for example, comparison in performance between different object detection methods. By using YOLO, the detection time is decreased from multiple tens of seconds to few milliseconds. This means that we can basically talk about real-time object detection. This type of image detection can be used in technologies like self-driving vehicles, robot systems that have computer vision, and a lot of other applications. Here's an example of running this object detection on some objects in my living room. I am using the already trained datasets and it is clear that the object detection is not perfect but it's definitely possible to improve the results. For example, by increasing the number of images during the neural network training, and one quick improvement would be to increase the threshold at which the object counts as detected. Here you can see the process of detecting a custom object that I am planning to use in one of my future videos. In my next video I am planning to introduce multiple ways of installing and using YOLO. You will find a link to it into the video description once the next video is ready. I think it will be quite useful for you in case you are completely new to this, because in that case you are in the same place where I was one month ago. It's not too hard to use Darknet, but it can be quite confusing at the beginning. As an example, I can mention that it is possible to run Darknet on your PC, run it on cloud, and then there is also a mixed option. In case if I have sparked interest in you to learn something more about this, there will be few links to other videos into the video description that I watched when I started to learn about Darknet. I will appreciate a like if you like this video, because it takes a lot of time to make one of these. Subscribe in case if you don't want to miss out on my next video, and I hope to see you soon. Cheers guys, bye.